Hi everyone, today we're doing cat pictures on Triarch Me. So sticking with the cat theme from last time, we're doing another cat room. So let's press click complete to complete this. And let's have a look at the end map scan. We see we have a, a web server on part 8080, so let's have a look at that. Let's put in the IP address, 8080. And we get like a web page. So we just get a login here. And let's have a look at the post. So we see a post here using knock knock magic numbers. Post all your cat pictures here. If you don't know, knock is a, like a tool that can allow you to have a look. Well, to add parts to your end map scan pretty much. So let's just open our end map scan again and type in knock. If you don't have knock, you can just do sudo apt install. I think it's knock knock d. I'm pretty sure to install it, but I'm got it installed. So let's do to actually. I just to our sector host, let's zoom in quickly. Do sudo nano etc host. Let's add this in quickly. So I've done this room before and I'm just going to get going through it again with you guys. So let's put this in, press Y and save it. Now we'd want to put in the I well the name to the IP address. So and let's put in the special numbers here. And then we should be able to rerun our map scan. Make sure I remove these here as we don't need them. Let's get rid of them and let's press enter. Now let's do nmap cache.tryhackme and let's just do service version. Let's press enter. So guys you might need to put knock in again as it didn't work for me the first time so I did an nmap scan with aggressive with the prefix that I added. And we can see we have FTP open with anonymous. So let's do FTP and just put in the IP address as it says it's anonymous so the IP address is here so let's put that in and just put an anonymous and let's do ls and we get note.txt so let's do get note.txt to load it to our machine so we got that let's do exit and let's do ls and let's do cart note.txt and we see we have part 4000 open so they left the back door on the machine so we can gain access so let's do nc.nv and the IP address which will be here and now we need the password as we have the password here and we also have a user cat lover which we could use might be useful later let's try that again let's copy this properly and looks like we're in let's do ls and we are so let's go to the home directory if we can let's do ls again this is just very weird the shell let's do ls la it doesn't look like there's anything in here at all so it looks like we have a shell that isn't really interactive at all so one thing we could have a look at is just look at their bash dot history let's just have a look at that and see what's there and we get bin bash so if we could do bin let's do that again bin bash dash i and do we have a shell no it does not look like we do s dot la no, so one thing we could probably do is just use a reverse shell and hopefully get back to our get a connection back to the machine. So let's just do this again. I think I may have broke it. I don't think this is a really stable shell at all, so you don't really want to be using this. So let's just copy this over. So let's just do that. Let's copy that and paste that in. So we know they have bin bash on this machine. Well, they have bin bash stored somewhere, so we may be able to just use that to reverse shell. So one thing we could do is just go to revshells.com. Well, I have it here saved. So just put revshells.com. You should get to this web page, and we'll want to be using this one here. Make sure this is your open VPN IP address. You can check that by just doing IP config. Well, if config, and it's your turn zero IP address. And the part we'll be listening on is 4848. You can use any part along with it's not in use let's just copy that up in and put and let's set up a listening part first so let's do lnvp 4848 so we're listening and let's push this and press enter and yes we are in so okay let's do ls and it looks like we have a stable shell as well if you don't have a stable shell you can just do bin that bash that i am pretty sure and that should give you a shell but since i already have one i don't i don't think i really need to do that so we're in home and we're in cat lovers directory so let's cd to cat lover let's do that again cd cat lover and run me so let's do lsla let's see what that is so it's something that we can execute so let's do run me and it wants a password it's very interesting we don't have a password so let's do that again let's do this quickly again so we may be able to have a look at the password through the we'll just have a look through the the actual file itself by just maybe doing strings or just cutting it out so we're back in let's do cd home and cd cat lover 
so we're in cat lovers eric rodriguez let's do cat run me so if we scroll up we should hopefully see something and we have a password here please enter your password and then there's rebecca so rebecca may be our password so let's just do ls again just to make this look a bit nicer and let's do run me let's enter the password which will be rebecca and we have ssh keys transferred over let's have a look at eric let's do ls and we have rsa keys there so let's do cat id rsa and we have an id rsk key here so let's just copy this over to our machine let's copy this and let's get out of this we don't need this anymore let's do this and let's do think nano id rsa let's put that in don't know why that's happened so okay it still looks like everything's okay so let's do save this so let's just open this in a new tab since that one just stopped working that window so let's zoom in here and so that's what we want to do now is just do change mod just to 600 let's do id rsa is that the file we want to change as we'll need change well permission 600 to do it for ssh so we want to do i already got it here so i'll change this ip address you want to do ssh the username which will be cat lover at this ip address and i as we're going to be using the rsa key for the password password instead and i'm pretty sure in this machine we don't need well we don't need a i well a password for or a password for the rsa key so we don't need to use john the ripper or anything so let's just enter this let's do yes and we are in the machine so it looks like we are in as root let's do id and it does say we are root so we should be root then i guess let's do ls or let's go cd home and let's see what's there nothing so actually let's find the first flag so let's do find slash this here to search the whole system let's do type and we want type to be f because we want to search for files and we want to do name to be flag.txt with dev oops actually it'll be to this core this here to, to send all the wrong output to dev null which will just get rid of everything that won't return anything that's permission denied so we get the flag here on in the root directory so let's just copy it we'll cut this so let's put that in as that's the first flag done so now we'll want to do the root flag which is a bit weird so one thing we could do is get out of this directory and do ls.la let's see there's a bash history as well so let's have a look at bash history see if there's anything of interest and it looks like opt.clean.sh so what this leads me to believe is that this is a like a cron job so we could confirm it by going to the cron tab but i'm pretty sure this is a cron well this is a cron job because i've run this room last time and it is a cron job so let's just get into this directory so let's do opt dot clean my spelling is atrocious so let's do opt dot clean and we're in this directory here and we can see the let's do nano dot clean and we can see we could probably this runs bash commands so we could create another reverse shell on this machine here so we can go back into revshelves.com and this time we can use a bash reverse shell so let's copy this here let's paste this in Control shift view them with the same thing as before your ip address your open vpn ip address and the part we're going to be listening on is going to be this part here again so let's do this here since this is a cron job it'll take a while because they normally run on a set amount of time so let's exit over here as we don't need this let's clear this and we need to quickly set up our listener as well like i said this will take a while so if you do time you can see that this is going to take a little while so when this has run i'll get back to you Guys, that took over a while like i said and we are root on this machine so let's do ls and we can see root.txt so let's just cut this out quickly to finish off the room and we have got the final flag so let's put this flag in and this is the room pretty much done 